So continuing to field questions here, if you have some elite, I have a student who sat two NBME exams and scored in the 180s. He or she took UWorld self-assessment exam one, scored high 230s, wants to know why the scores are so different. So to provide broader value for you guys watching this clip, I will discuss why there might be a discrepancy between your UWSAs and your NBMEs, high versus low for either scenario, okay? Where the NBMEs are lower than the UWSAs, UWSAs are lower than NBMEs. So I'll discuss both scenarios, why that might be the case, and also which scenario is worse versus better, quote unquote, if that's even possible, okay? Which it is possible, and I will give you some concise value here. So before we get started, I will be a quick asshole and tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now, addressing this question here as far as why we might see a discrepancy between the NBMEs and UWorld self-assessment exams, I will start with the scenario where we have lower NBMEs compared to the UWorld self-assessment exams, which are higher. Why that might be the case? It's most likely because the student is overthinking dumb shit on the NBMEs because he or she has become very invested and mentally calibrated to specifically answering the UWorld question style. Now, when you do the NBME exams, you will see the questions are often pretty simple. They're uncomplicated. Most of them are very straightforward, okay? Whereas QBank, you'll notice many of the questions are gotcha style, or there might be three or four twists and turns you have to hop through in order to answer the question. So when students get to the NBME exams following UWorld, there will be an increased proclivity to overthink dumb shit because you think that there has to be some sort of catch when there's not, okay? So the NBME exams don't lie. Unfortunately, it is worse, quote unquote, to have lower NBMEs because those are the questions that are on the real deal. I am not going to make this a 45 minute clip discussing that aspect in isolation, but recognize that before your real deal, you're going to memorize NBMEs 20 through 30 because those questions are the exact same ones in the real deal. Not only will there be repeats, but we also want you to mentally calibrate to the NBME question style because we don't want you overthinking dumb shit. Okay. So the other scenario being uh, when you've got NBMEs that are higher than your year-old self-assessment exam, why might that be the case? It's not really a why per se that we need to delve into as much as it is more just giving mental alleviation to the student that that is a good scenario to be in, quote unquote, okay? Because as I just fucking said, the NBMEs are the real USMLE. So if your NBMEs are higher and, you, and your UWorld self-assessment exams are lower, that's okay. I mean, we obviously want to look at your UWSAs and say, did you miss nitpicky stuff? Can we more or less disregard that low yield uh, minutiae? Or did you miss high yield stuff where it is not acceptable? Did you miss ACE inhibitor or calcium vitamin D type of questions? So we want to obviously look at what you got wrong from the UWSAs, not disregard those forms entirely, but it is a good scenario, quote unquote, to have higher NBMEs because those are the real USMLE, okay? You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.